that an elderly woman called firefighters over 1,100 times in the past three years. 1,100 times. 1,100 times she called the fire department in the past three years. Why? Because her husband couldn't get out of bed. It is crazy that the fire department is who is called in when people can't get out of bed. And think about it. Every time you see like that big guy who's like 500 pounds, it's always the fire department. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would have thought the police would have been called, but I guess in this situation, it's the well, fire Especially because you just got to throw a lasso around the guy and pull him out. Mm. But I guess they can't say no, right? Yeah, it's, I'm surprised that they would go out for that. Uh, Chris works with the fire mm. department in Oakland County. Chris is with us on the Rift Lines. Hey, man. CrossFit. CrossFit. So Lift him. You, <laughs> you get a 911 call or you get a call from someone saying, my husband can't get out of bed. I need your help lifting him. Are you required to go? Yeah, so uh, if we get a call, we have to go. If it's a lift assist, a lot of times we'll just go no lights, no sirens, but we are required to go. We have something called a mega mover. And uh, a mega mover, it's a giant tarp with handles on it. Please, dear God, let me never need the mega mover. (laughs) I'm I'm rocketing towards a mega mover. (laughs) (laughs) Me too. Your goal in life is to not have the mega mover. Please 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 don't. Mega mover. Please don't ever need the Mega Mover, Lisa. Hey, boys, it's Andy again. <laughs> you want to bring the Mega Mover? <laughs> I want uh, my, my side fat rolling out of it uh, like last time. Yeah. Yeah. That big green bean needs you a know, Mega Mover again. Green bean didn't think he was going to last that long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turns out I got pretty good longevity. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the genes. <laughs> oh, the Mega Mover. Yeah. That is my yeah. new goal in life now. That's my new fitness goal. Don't anti need a mega mover. Yeah, anti mega mover. <laughs> Keith, hi Keith, you're on with Dave and Chuck the Freak. Good morning. Um, yeah, man. About nine years ago, I've been a medic for about nine years, and we got a call for a uh, overly obese person. He was probably about 900 pounds, Ooh. and we had to take him to the Detroit Zoo uh, to get an MRI because he wouldn't fit in any of the uh, open MRI machines. That any of the you had to give him like a right. A rhinoceros MRI? <laughs> yeah, basically. It was, oh. it was pretty ridiculous. Is this the one they <laughs> use for elephants? Yeah, the same one for elephants. Oh, and, no. No. Next and goal in okay. life is oh, not I have to go to the zoo for Goal my number MRIs. one, never need a mega mover. <laughs> goal number two, never need an elephant MRI. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Oh, I've got to go to the zoo. It's They've got to take me to the zoo I'll be for honest. a checkup. It's a tight squeeze in there already. At the zoo, you no. guys. MRI, it's a tight squeeze in there already. I have them. It's a bad life when you got to go to the zoo oh, for medical my God. care. You put me zoo. in that rhino machine, boys. <laughs> oh, God. We're putting him in the rhino machine. Oh, he's, he's fighting. Oh, I'm here for my checkup. He's fighting. Oh, we dropped him. <laughs> Oh, this thing hurts. Tranquilize Dave. I don't want to do this. (laughs) Calm down, Dave. Calm down, Dave. (laughs) Damn it. Settle Dave down. Uh. (laughs) He doesn't like that mega mover. (laughs) Guys, I didn't even know they did this, guys. Me either. I didn't know they did this. Sucks to be in a waiting room with rhinoceroses. (laughs) Hey, what are you in for? I just get my checkup. <laughs> well, don't look those rhinoceroses right in their eyes. They're aggressive. <laughs> See? <laughs> Guys, I didn't know it was happening. <laughs> that you'd be taken to the zoo for a checkup? No, I did not know that was happening. I go to the zoo for the MRI, but I stay for the snacks. <laughs> you want to get a pretzel? Yeah. <laughs> right. That'd be the only upside, right, Lise? <laughs> I'll never look at the zoo the same again. <laughs> you imagine you're at the zoo and they just wheel a big person past you? Oh, you my God. I want to know where it is, honestly. That might shake something loose in me. Like, I might all of a sudden start <laughs> training like Rocky, you know? I might start training like Rocky after I see a guy. You t- turn your life around. Exactly. Honestly, if I saw someone being wheeled through the zoo on a giant big person stretcher yeah. for an MRI, because I didn't, the only thing that will fit them is the rhino elephant MRI machine. Yeah. <laughs> And there's a pregnant rhino. Changes your life. I got a pregnant rhino. It's a whole and new then day. I'm next. Screw yeah, food. Yeah, you're in line with it. Yeah. <laughs> like it will. It's a wake up call, right? It's like we got to make some changes. You're walking past people. You're like, yeah. It's pretty humbling. Kind of burst. Like. 
an <laughs> elephant fits in there no problem and you're a tight squeeze <laughs> you know every yeah. time you know what? i'm just gonna keep this around mm-hmm. and every time i want to have like a big donut or a piece of cake or something <laughs> oh, oh, Dave. <laughs> when you open your fridge <laughs> yeah yep and i'll just close, close it, up. it right back no up. elephant mri for me thank you <laughs> thank you very much 